Archibald Biological Station is an ecological research, conservation, and education center in South Central Florida. It's located on 9,000 acres of globally threatened Florida scrub habitat. Archibald has just opened its learning center and lodge. Certified as LEED Platinum, the highest possible rating for green buildings. In addition, the buildings are Florida Water Star certified by the Southwest Florida Water Management District. When it comes to water, it seems like we measure everything at Archbold Biological Station. We measure the rain falling using rain gauges, some electronic, others manual. We've measured daily rainfall here since 1932. Normally, we get about 53 inches of rain in a typical year, but it can get as high as 76 inches in the wettest year or as low as 27 inches in the driest year. We also measure lake and groundwater levels. So the old-fashioned way of measuring the lake level is to use a staff gauge. And today, it's 110.3 feet above mean sea level. Nowadays, we also measure water level at Lake Annie using a pressure transducer. The instrument is down this hole, it collects data, sends it to this data logger, and then it's transmitted wirelessly to the station every 15 minutes. Monitoring groundwater is important because it's a significant source for all public and agricultural and industrial uses. Groundwater makes up about 80% of the water used within the district. Southwest Florida Water Management District collects daily regional groundwater data here at Archbold Biological Station. This site is called the Romp 14 Well. And the four wells behind me on those blue pillars collect groundwater data at different depths below ground. There's also a rainfall gauge and the data are transmitted directly back to district headquarters. The first well collects data from 300 feet below ground. Second well from 521 feet. Third well from 730 feet deep and the fourth distant well from 1670 feet below ground. Would you like to see where these wells go? Let's take a trip down the well with a couple of water experts. Dan, are you okay? The earth came up so very quickly. Oh, Flory, wasn't that cool? Did you see me? Uh -huh. I've never gone so fast. Uh, -huh. uh where are we? Oh, I I'm not sure. Archbold Biological Station, Florida. Ground level. Starting our descent to the floor down aquifer. Did the elevator just say Flory and Dan? How does it know our names? Actually, it didn't say Flory and Dan. It said we were going to the Floridan aquifer. Oh. Whatever that is. Aquifers are layers of underground rock or sand that store water. A. Q. U. I. F. E. R. Oh, typical. I just get back to Earth and we're already having a spelling test. Dan, I'm nervous. Oh, don't worry. First stop, the surficial aquifer. What aquifer? All I can see is wet sand. The surficial aquifer. Groundwater here fills the spaces between grains of sand. This sand is 353 feet deep. It's an ancient sand dune built by ocean currents more than a million years ago. Ah, so the water here is more than a million years old. No, the sand is that old. But the water held in this sand comes mostly from rainwater seeping downward from the land. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What's wrong now, Rosa? We have to get through this confining unit. It confines or holds back the water in the aquifer below. Don't worry, we'll get through. Some water can move up and down in places through the confining layer. Wow, this is awesome. Go, elevator! Go, 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 elevator! Dan, I don't think you're helping. Thank you, Dan. We made it through. Do these rocks hold water too? Yes. This is part of the intermediate aquifer system. The groundwater here fills cracks and fissures 
in the limestone. The water is constantly moving. This aquifer stretches from here to southwest Florida. Hold tight. Another confined unit, the lower intermediate. We've got 127 feet of this to go. We've got a little squeeze on. Looking for a smooth crack. Moving down a figure there. To the next aquifer. To the next aquifer. 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 Word. Thanks, guys. We're passing into the top of the upper Floridan aquifer. F. L O R I D A N, not Floridian. The limestone rocks here come from 24 to 34 million years ago. I can hear water outside. It's gurgling. Wow, I can hear it too. You're right. This water is moving. The water in the cracks and fissures in this limestone forms the upper Floridan aquifer. The Floridan Aquifer is one of the biggest and most important aquifers in the world. So where's all this water going? Well, it flows down and to the south and east of here. Can we go down? I don't think you would like it down there. The rocks date from more than 34 million years ago. There are pockets of ancient seawater that taste pretty nasty. Mm. Let's stay here. It's like a cathedral for water drops. I never imagined aquifers like this. Okay, Flory, we'll stay. So, see you later, Elevator. Thank you, Elevator, for a wonderful journey. My pleasure. Shh, 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 shh.